I remember exactly where I was when Marcus Smart did this. Easy call. That's that's disgusting behavior. It was one of those moments you run out to everyone else and you're like, put on the TV, you have to see this. It was the first time millions of people had heard of Marcus Smart. Pretty bad first impression. He shoved a fan that said something Smart didn't like. Even when Smart was drafted by the Celtics, a C's writer said, quote, extremely impulsive and makes occasionally poor decisions, has an aggressive style of play. So how did Smart go from a one-dimensional madman to the Celtics heart and soul? This really explains how an awful tragedy changed things that goes back to that moment. Yo, it's AM Hoops. I am KC, another feature Friday on the channel. Just two member shout outs to TJ Chrisman and Tom Salkeld. That shove happened when Smart played for Oklahoma State back in 2014. Just before that game, he got awful news that put him on edge. His mom was in the hospital. She had dealt with health issues for years, needing kidney dialysis three times a week and eventually a quadruple bypass. Smart was barely 20 years old, so when some jackass fan crossed the line, he wasn't having it. His mom meant everything to him, going all the way back to a shooting when he was a kid. Marcus was on the wrong path, he would tell you that. I mean, he regularly skipped school, he would play a game of throwing rocks which is exactly what it sounds like. He would literally toss rocks at people and you score a point if it connects. Well, one day he hit a member of the Bloods gang. Marcus ran away while several shots were fired at him. He made it home safe, but his mom wasn't too happy. He said, quote, she beat my butt, don't get me wrong, but I could always talk to her about anything. It didn't matter what it was. It didn't matter how much trouble you got into. You could always talk to her. So she made that easier for us, and that was huge for us. Us was Marcus and his three older brothers. Just before the shooting, he was in trouble at school for smashing a kid's head into the concrete. The near shooting was the last straw. Marcus decided right there to grow up, not just for himself, but for his family. But that family was torn apart when Marcus's oldest brother, Todd, passed away from cancer in 2004. Marcus said his mom was so strong for him and his brothers, she never showed her pain to comfort the rest of the family instead. That is why Marcus was so on edge and shoved that fan that day. And sadly for Marcus, it really gave him a bad reputation in a lot of people's eyes. It reminded people of the malice in the palace 10 years before. That was a serious black eye on the NBA. A fan in that incident was at fault too, but Ron Artest took all the heat. Still though, the Celtics drafted Marcus with the sixth overall pick in the 2014 draft, despite that reputation. The first thing he did was buy his mom a house. So while she lived in her brand new house in Dallas, Marcus continued to play the tough guy. Yes, his reputation followed him in the league. Two months into his career, he fought Boogie Cousins. DeMarcus set a hard screen, Marcus let him feel it seconds later, so Boogie just slammed him to the ground. He's fine for two. I don't know if you'd call that a fight, actually. More like a butt kicking. Now, I remember this one very clearly back in 2017. The Rockets were up by three in a huge national TV game with seconds left to go. Marcus forced James Harden into two offensive fouls. Houston lost the game. I remember thinking Smart was such a jerk. He was that pest like Patrick Beverly who gets under a guy's skin. There are a lot more fights and arguments we could go over, but bottom line, most people despised Marcus Smart. I mean, fans in Boston love him, but the world saw a nasty, aggressive, sometimes flopping player. But then he got a phone call three years ago that changed everything. It was the final week of the regular season. Marcus had to fly home to see his mom. She was in a wheelchair, skinny from fighting cancer for months. She chose not to tell her son so he could stay focused on the game. Now, just before the playoffs, she couldn't wait any longer. It might be too late. 
It was devastating news for Marcus, but his mom wanted him to go back for the playoffs. He returned after the postseason and took care of his mom all summer long. Finally, when doctors said that she could have yet another surgery to extend her life by a month or two, the sons decided against it so she could pass in peace with her family around her. Marcus said, quote, she couldn't feel anything in the final moments. It was like a dream. We just let her pass peacefully and it was devastating for us. We had to sit there and watch that. But at the same time, I'm glad that I was able to be there for her last moments and for her to see me. Coach Brad Stevens and several of Marcus's teammates flew out to Dallas for the funeral. It was just before the 2019 season began, but Smart showed up to training camp on time. And in that moment, he faced the media for the first time, not as a hard-nosed competitor, but as a mama's boy without a mom. The last couple months, not days, have, have been real, um, Real humbling, in a sense, you know, um, it kind of brings you back to reality. He gave lots of interviews after that, not just to tell people what kind of person his mom was, but also the lessons he learned from her. That's one thing she was focused on is respect. Uh, you know, you got to give it to, to get respect. You got to give it. So for us, it, she always had a saying and it, it, it stuck with me personally because it's true and, and I, I've witnessed it. No matter how high you get up on the ladder, be careful how you talk and treat the people because those same people on your way up are the same people you gotta see coming back down. Marcus had already started a foundation before his mom's passing called the Young Game Changers Foundation. Their mission is to encourage inner city kids and to give hope and inspiration to pediatric cancer patients and their families. Because of his foundation's work and the passing of his mom, Marcus opened up and showed the world a different side. He's no longer just a scrappy guard who fights and flops. He is now the heart and soul of the Boston Celtics. The first time a lot of people were introduced to Marcus Smart, he was shoving a fan getting suspended. But through the years, they've gotten to know, just like every player in the league, there's a real person behind that persona with an inspirational story. Two things for you, the playlist for Feature Friday that has all of the stories like this one that have been done on the channel, and a story two weeks ago that you should see. It's about Sean Bradley, who was recently paralyzed, but sort of the silver lining in that horrible situation.